Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, and in today's video, I am going to be unboxing something incredibly exciting. The NES Classic Mini. This actually came out on Friday, officially, and it's a little bit hard to get hold of right now, because it's sold out basically everywhere. But this is so exciting, as a Nintendo fan and someone that has grown up with Nintendo consoles, this is basically history in a very tiny, very portable box. Of course, massive shout out to the guys over at Nintendo who very kindly sent this to me. But in this video, I'm going to unbox it and show it to you guys in action, run through all the games very, very quickly. But if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. If you've got one of these yourself or you're getting one or you want to get one, then definitely let me know down below. And also let me know from the 30 titles on the console, which one is top of your list. So first things first, the box itself. It's really cool. It's also kind of designed in this sort of classic style box. So you've got the old school Nintendo logo packaging that looks very kind of similar to that of the kind of period that the console came out. And on the front, it also says that you get 30 games pre-installed. Yes, there are 30 games on this tiny box. On the back, you can of course see a sample of the games available, but there's so much more. So if we dive inside, there's not actually a great deal in the box, which is great. It makes it really, really portable. But you firstly have a nice black and white manual, again, in keeping with the theme. You also, of course, have your usual Nintendo code in there if you want to kind of redeem those points on the Nintendo Club. But we then go down one layer deeper. We have the console, which I will look at last. We then have a controller, and we also have two cables. This is literally all you need. An HDMI cable to connect to your TV. Yes, it's HDMI and not some kind of old school component cable. And also a USB cable. Yes, no power cable, no power brick. This can run on USB. In fact, in the demo you guys are gonna see a little bit later, I didn't have a spare USB port on my PC, so I simply plugged it into my Xbox and it still runs. So any USB port, plug it in and you have a portable console. Now, if we then turn our attention to the controller, this is your classic NES controller. Really nice, simple, your two buttons, A and B, your start and select button and your D-pad. I do also have a second controller because of course some of these games are multiplayer. So Nintendo very kindly hooked me up with a spare controller so you can plug that one in too, but I'm going to leave that in the box for the time being because I'm only going to need one to play it myself. And as for the console itself, this is it. It is so tiny, it's so awesome, it could probably fit in my pocket if I had a big enough pocket. But in terms of design, it's of course made to look like a very tiny version of the NES. The front portion does not open up, it's just kind of like a, you know, aesthetic design to make it look like the sort of hatch where the cartridge would normally go in. But on the back you have your HDMI port and your USB port. And on the front you have your two ports for the controllers and your power and your reset button. Power is quite obviously used to turn the console on and off and the reset button is used to, if you're in a game in the menu, you then use that to kind of return to the home menu so you can select another game. So. That's pretty much it. And if you want to get an idea of just how small this is, this is a regular Nintendo 3DS, the new 3DS, but it's the small one, not the XL. So size-wise, it's narrower than the 3DS. And in fact, if I actually open the 3DS up and kind of lay it over the top, it covers the Classic Mini. So yes, fair to say it's very small, it's very portable, but it is also super awesome if you want to take it to a friend's house or if you want to go and like put it in the family room like during Christmas or something, just plug it in, whack it into a USB port and considering most new TVs have a USB port anyway, you could probably just plug it straight into the TV and you're then good to go. So that in a nutshell is the console, but what about the games? I mentioned that there are 30 games pre-installed. Of course, you're never going to be able to encapsulate every single game from someone's childhood, but there are loads of cool games here and the list in alphabetical order goes something like this. Balloon Fight, Bubble Bobble, Castlevania, Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2 The Revenge, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, Final Fantasy, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Bros, Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Punch-Out, Star Tropics, Super C, Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 2, Super Mario Bros 3, Tecmo Bowl, The Legend of Zelda, and Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. That's a pretty good list when you consider it's a tiny box that is also not that expensive and you can basically plug it in anywhere and just start playing. So that's incredibly exciting, plus going into the new year, if any of you guys have seen my Twitch streams, then I've mentioned in passing that what I intend to do on the run up to the launch of Breath of the Wild and Nintendo Switch. I'm going to be doing a Zelda marathon, streaming all the Zelda games in timeline order. And this console just made it a hell of a lot easier for me to play through The Legend of Zelda and Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. So that's already a solution for those two games, which is great. 
But for those of you guys looking to kind of like revisit some of the classics, just sort of, you know, have something that's super accessible, or if you're a streamer or a YouTuber and you want to be able to record some old school games, then, you know, trying to plug something like an old school NES in is not the easiest thing in the world because of the cables and the stuff you actually need to make it work. So this is, of course, super convenient. And that is pretty much it. That was just a really quick look at the console and, of course, the games that are available on it. I might at some point when we get closer to Christmas do a retro live stream, so do stay tuned for that because we might just go through and play through like all of these games. But for the time being, thank you for watching. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.